everybody just wanted to do a quick video and uh, comment a little bit about uh, the fire at uh, Notre Dame Cathedral over in France so it just hurts <laughs> to see that happening I feel bad for the people of France because that's a that's an iconic landmark in Paris and that's part of years and years and years thousands of years of history that building so you're looking at a building that has been there since the 12th century that is now up in flames. Now, something that I found out is that they did take an awful lot of the precious artwork that they have at Notre Dame. I don't know if you know that there is a lot of nice artwork that they normally house there at Notre Dame. But they did take a lot of that stuff out because they were doing renovations on the building. Um, the problem I think that they have right now is that it's just burning out of control. And that's just so sad. So, so sad. Um, I'm a big history nut. And I've looked into a lot of history for not just my own country, but other countries as well. Israel, for instance, is a favorite of mine to um, do history of that region. You know, and just exactly how much, you know, we can, all, we can actually prove to... Um, those who are not actual Israelis, that Israel doesn't belong to them. Um, <laughs> Israel belongs <laughs> to God's people. That's who it belongs to. Anyway, um, Notre Dame, though, is so iconic, and it's been in so many movies. Victor Hugo wrote about it, of course, in Hunchback of Notre Dame. Uh, it, it's been a part of so many famous writings and films animated and otherwise you know it, it just breaks my heart it really does so uh, if I got anybody who watches here from France my heart goes out to you even if you don't live in Paris because that's a part of your country's history and to see something like that happen is just horrible for for me it would be just as devastating if I were to see like say the Capitol building in, in Washington DC up in flames the building up in <laughs> no. okay I could make some serious serious political jokes here but I'm not gonna <laughs> I don't want to start a war in the comments anyway um one of these times I'll go ahead <laughs> and do something like that I'll talk about my my own political views uh but uh, yeah and the comments will be disabled probably <laughs> for that I don't know but anyway um, so, this really hurts, you know, to know that France is going through this. I mean, they've, they've gone through some pretty heady things here over the last couple of years. Um, they've had terrorist attacks and all of that, um, just as we've had over the course of the last, oh gosh, well, since the 90s, we've had terrorist attacks, some domestic, some foreign, so... Man. But folks from France, my heart goes out to you. Because that's a part of your country and your country's history. So anywho, that's all from me about that subject. I just wanted to touch on it because it really is heartbreaking to watch it. And I've always loved the look of, of uh, the Notre Dame Cathedral. It was so beautiful, but apparently the main spire has fallen, the roof has collapsed. And uh, they're saying if they can't get in get a control on it, get any control on it, that it could be that the cathedral itself will be a total loss and it's just, you know, religion aside, it, it, to me this has nothing to do with religion. This, this is something that's happening. It's an accident that's happening. So, but it's history that's going up in flames and that's what really disturbs me. Anyway, well, everybody take care. God bless you. I'll be back with another video. In fact, the next video that I'm probably going to do may have something to do with our little feathered friend. My little feathered friend. 
the one who's currently up on top of my computer armoire, munching to his heart's delight on some uh, Lefebvre, um, well, not AV cakes, but they're like AV cakes anyway. They're little round ones. I forgot what they're called. Anyway, but anyway, stay tuned for that because that will be coming up um, sometime this week. Anyway, see y'all later. Bye.